welcome back to Designs by Shy. So first, before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you to everyone who has watched my videos. I hope that you guys are finding them helpful. If not, please keep leaving comments and asking me questions or find me on Facebook. Um, once again, I always link my Facebook groups down below. So find me on Facebook and inbox me as you guys have been doing to ask me any questions you guys have that you don't want to comment for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, just thank you so much. I've, I'm like 66 hours um, from being monetized. So that is awesome. That is huge because I just started doing YouTube in January and it is what? March 27th. So yeah, that's not bad in three months. So yeah, I just want to say thank you once again. I really appreciate it. But anyways, to the video. We are going to be making a clock today. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but these are everywhere on my Cricut groups or whatever. So this is my clock. This is what we're going to be making. You're going to need the Cricut Design Space and you're going to need the Silhouette Studio for this particular video. The image, you know, print to cut in Cricut Design Space, you can only do so big. And this image is bigger than what they allow on Cricut Design Space. So we're going to well, I create the image on Cricut Design Space and then I upload that same image to the Silhouette Studio to print it from there. So, oh, another thing. So my computer crashed, no way, I don't know where, and I got a new computer and for whatever reason I can't screen record without having to pay for screen recording and the other one I found, I didn't like it. So anyways, I'm just going to be recording my computer screen with the camera it doesn't look as professional but that is what we're going to be doing until i figure out something else to screen record so let's get right into the video okay so these are all my clocks that i've done so far if you would like any of these images um and i can send it to you with or without the clock hand numbers um, please leave a comment below with what image you would like in your email address. Sorry, couldn't figure out what the heck I was trying to say. So we'll do if you want this one, we'll go image one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. And eleven will be what we are going to be doing today. So I'm going to just hide this real quick. Okay, so first thing first, when you do your clock face, it's gonna be a start on the clean slate. You're gonna to go to Google. You're gonna search clock numbers, then click images. Once you scroll and find what clock face you want, um, make sure you have one that doesn't have any hands in the middle. You want just the numbers and then the dot in the middle. And that, even the dot's optional, it doesn't matter. So find the clock face that you want, click on it. Say for instance, we were doing this one. You will right click it over here. Go to save picture as. You're gonna save your image, which I am not, cause that's actually not the clock face we're using for mine. I uh, just wanna show you how to do it. Then you're gonna go over here to upload and you will go to upload image, find your image and then click it. But I already have mine uploaded, so we're gonna just click our clock face that we're using and our image that we're using. So this actually, let's see if I, this I actually bought, it looked like this. It was an SVG I bought from Etsy, and then I edited it to create it like that. So for this video, I'm just going to make this 8 inches right now. And then you're going to add your shape for the background. Circle. We're going to make that 8 as well. And then I did words. Alright. So... I do my, uh, I did the line separate for this. So, did locked, and then we're gonna do up. And 
but I'm going to change the letter space to zero. Then I'm going to group them together. And for this font, which is um, three little birds or three birds, life's a party. That's the font. Um, for this font, the reason why I did it the way I did it is because, let me show you here. If I do it as one, I can change the alignment to center. I can change the line space to negative four. And that part is fine. Anyways, but the word locked is too spaced apart. I don't like the way it looks. But if I do the letter space to zero here, then I won't like the way up looks. So that's why I did it separately and then just put it together. Okay, so I got my clock face. Got my circle. I'm going to change the color to yellow. I'm going to arrange it so send to back. Actually, you know what? I'll put the image on first. Okay, so you want to change the clock face, arrange it to the front. Then I change my color to white. So that's just showing you how I create the image I'm going to use for my clock. Um, so yeah, so that's how you find the clock face. You want to add letters, that's how you do it, or words, that's how you would do it. And then that's how you upload the image you want to use. Then you just put everything together. So once you have your image how you want it, then you can go to snap. This is snip and sketch. This is how you take a picture of your, um, anything on your screen. So if you're not for sure how you get to this, this is actually, come down here. So you're gonna go down here to the start menu because almost every single computer does have this. I'm gonna go all the way down to the S's and right here, snip and sketch. Click that. Go to new. And then just make a square around your image that you want to take a screenshot of. Save it. All right, so now here we are on the Silhouette Studio. So I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Merge. I'm gonna look for your image or your clock. Make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna go over here to your shapes over here. We're gonna find your circle. And just make a circle. I'm gonna go back to the pointer, mouse pointer, the cursor. And you're going to try to get this red circle around your clock. However you want it. Gonna get your clock to fit in there. Cause we're gonna cut that white border we had. All right. So once you got your clock to fit into the red circle, you're gonna highlight both by just dragging your mouse over it, and then you're gonna go up here to the top, object, modify. I believe intersect. There we go. Now we have our circle. 
Now we're going to take the clock. I put it up here in the corner as close as possible. We're going to 7.5 by 7.5. So this uh, square right here, a rectangle right here, this is your outline. So you, this is the printer. So you know you can't get it past this line or past this line because it's going to be too big to print. All right, so now we're going to go to send to printer. Okay, so we're going to go to send to printer. This is the paper I'm going to be using, glossy photo paper. It just makes the image more vibrant. So we're going to put our paper in the printer. And I'm running low on ink, so hopefully I don't have to change it. And then this is just a regular, regular cheap printer. It's the HP Desk Jet. 3632. Um, I do have the, what is it, uh, Epson Workforce WF7710 and 7720, but I haven't opened them yet, so I'm still using my old printer. So that is the image. Now we're just going to go ahead and cut it out because this is a 7 by 5 um, It's going to be too big to cut on the Cricut, so you're going to have to cut it by hand. clock I already have an image in here but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out I'm gonna take a screwdriver and you're gonna just take each screw out Once you get the screws out, you're going to take it apart, glass, okay, right. let me take my battery out so my hands will stop turning. Alright, so with this, remember the order you took your hands off? because um, that is important so see if I put it here all right so I'm gonna do so we're gonna take the first hand off first I'm gonna just gently pull it straight up down there So to get it to lay flat as possible, I use double-sided sticky tape, just putting it 
laying it down. <laughs> this is the horrible Emmy, sorry. Now we're gonna take our image and you can either poke it with your screwdriver, but me, I just put it on there. All right, looks like it's a little too big, so we're gonna just cut our border off. You're going to lay your image against the tape. Now you're going to go ahead and put your hands back on in the proper order that I do not remember anymore. I believe, no, this is last. I believe it's the shorthand first. When you're pushing these on, make sure you're not pushing them against the paper or picture, whatever you want to say. Make sure it's not touching the picture. Now we're gonna put our clock back together. Line it up the lines, we're gonna go ahead and screw it back together. Voila. Is it moving? Okay, yeah, it's moving. <laughs> and there you go. All right, you guys, that is how to make a clock using Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. I hope this was helpful. I hope it wasn't too complex. Um, I think next time I'm going to be doing a video of how to take a white and black SVG as you see in the video and turn it into a colored SVG or image because um, I know I'm probably going to get questions about that but I didn't want to make the video too long but if you want to see that video please comment below that way if you don't want to see I don't waste my time making it but yeah so if you want to see that video please comment below and don't forget that if you want any of the images I have for my clocks please comment a number and your email address below and I will email that to you as soon as I see it um but yeah as usual please like comment and subscribe and feel free to share any of my videos in different cricket groups that you guys may be in um I've been seeing actually my videos on different cricket groups so that's amazing um keep doing that please <laughs> but yeah please once again like comment and subscribe to my channel give me feedback um let me know any other videos you would like to see and once again as always join my cricket group and my crafting group and please interact i'm getting a lot of people joining but not very many people are interacting on there 
And because of that, sometimes I, for, I honestly forget about the groups until somebody says something about it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, let me post something in the group because I don't really have many people interacting. I am getting people joining, so I guess that's a good thing. But now we just need to interact more. So show me your projects. I want to know what you guys are working on. I want to know what you guys like, what's your biggest uh, what's your biggest seller? What's your big what's your funnest project that you like? You know, I just want to know what you guys are up to what you guys got going on Maybe I can steal some of your guys's ideas and vice versa. So please join and interact I actually just posted a new craft um, Today that is due April 1st. We're going to be doing a party craft so you can either do a party favor like a chip bag or a water bottle um, design, I know people are doing those. Or you can do a party decor, like the balloon towers um, and whatever else. I don't know. But yeah, so that is actually got posted today. So if you want to join that craft project, then go ahead and join my crafting group. And it's the first, it should be the first post um, that you'll see. And go ahead and get your project going. And that will be due April 1st. So appreciate everybody thank you for watching yet again let me know what videos you guys are looking forward to or or needing help on and i would try to get that to you as soon as possible i don't know why i'm still holding this clock in my hand but thank you for everything like comment and subscribe again please appreciate it until next time you guys